Next question there. My name is Marianne Gartland, uh, and I'm from the youth paper in Norway. My question goes to John Legend. Martin Luther King Jr. described nuclear weapons as both genocidal and suicidal. What do you think of this description, and how will you describe nuclear weapons? I think that that's a very apt description. I think uh, some have talked about the idea of mutual assured destruction and all these other terms, but the simple fact is uh, nuclear weapons destroy huge amounts of people in one fell swoop, entire cities in one fell swoop, and they're in the hands of a lot of countries right now. Um, a lot of weapons are in the hands of, 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 of countries all over the world. And they're dangerous to all of us. And the fact that we have them in America and that other countries that uh, we're allies with or enemies with have them around the world, um, it's dangerous for all of us. It really is. More questions uh, while you get the microphone, Lucas Gray. Okay, uh, we have more questions. We have one question here. My name is Hedda Farstad Berge, and I'm from the youth paper in Norway. My question goes to Mr. David Oilovo. There are many survivors from the Hiroshima disaster here in Oslo. How have these people and their stories affected you? Uh, listening to Setsuko Thurlow uh, yesterday, who was a survivor, is a survivor, who was 13 when it happened, and describing the horrific scenes of her own family members and what had been endured, I mean, this puts a voice and a face to what we are talking about. I think when we think about nuclear weapons, it seems so, so big, so far away, so unlikely. But someone like her really brings it home. And so for me, it just made it very urgent. It's only nine countries. Now, they are nine countries who are very powerful, but just nine countries have to reach a consensus. Two-thirds of the world's countries have reached a consensus that this should be illegal. If these nine countries can join that, we would be free of this threat. And so for me, seeing her and hearing personal stories really takes it from this big idea to something very, very personal. And um, that's why I think it's just so right that she is part of receiving this uh, incredible award.